Dave the Blue Nose. Can he fix it? Dave the Blue Nose. Aye, he might be able to. Welcome back to Fog Football. I'm feeling like talking about the King of Kings. No, not Henrik Larson. I'm talking about Dave King. Triple H, nah, it's Dave King. Can he fix it? Bob the Builder, there's a lot of building to do at Rangers. I currently, well, I was going to say they're currently number two in Scotland, but they're not. They're actually down in third place. So, uh, Dave King. Should he return? Can he bring success back to Rangers? Is he the man to steady the ship? He did say that he would want to come in for a two-year period, no more, no less. And he also, more importantly, said he would not want to spend a single penny of his own money. He said he's done too much of that in the past. He doesn't want to spend any more. So therefore... The Rangers want this guy in charge. Wait, hold on. Where are you getting this information from? That's music to my well, same music to my ears. That's like shitey music to my he ears. He literally made a big statement saying that he wasn't willing to put any more of his own money in. I read the. I and read. That, that's up to the other people. At I, the club. I've, heard, this guy's the majority shareholder. Yeah, but he said he's, he's putting enough money in. Hold on, Dave King. He doesn't want to put any more in. He says do, that, he's do, a, that's up to the other shareholders. Do you know about a minute and 25 seconds ago? I was about to praise this guy, oh, and you've just fucking dropped Hiroshima on my ass. Yeah, well, yeah, he said he's not spending any more of his own money. I mean, I, I, mean, I do, I, I, I get that, but... Uh, he said he spent enough. He's not looking to... What about, what about people like me? My jails. My jails. All that stuff adds up. European packages. Season tickets. Rangers TV. Aye. The odd Celtic TV. That's more you, mate. But in all seriousness, what's going on here? Well, I mean, what Dave King, see, he wants back in charge. He wants to be the, he wants to be the president of the club, but he doesn't want to, uh, you know, put any money into it. So, I mean, that's fair enough. This guy, I think, actually spent a lot on Rangers, is he not? Yeah, but it doesn't sound, fit. it sounds a wee bit cheap to me. I think it's more his no leadership. Pun intended, by the way. I think it's his leadership skills that he's offering more than his financial backing. His leadership skills. He looks depressed in every photo I've seen of the guy. Well, that is true. I actually tried to find a happy... Picture of Dave King for the yes, but uh, that's about as good as it could get. That stern face. That... Monotone. Although, see, to be honest, see, if you'd pumped a lot of money into Rangers and all you had in return was one trophy at the last, one I, trophy at the last 15, would you be happy? No, but I think you've actually used the wrong images here because I think the scratch of the head, he looks a wee bit happier. I know, but the scratch of the head kind of, he looks a, bit, a little bit confused. You know, he's like, what the hell am I doing here? One out of 15, not much confusion, is there? No, but anyway, guys, the question is, and we asked it, should Dave King return to the Rangers? There was 435 votes. 55%. It's a good wee number there. Well, we ever see a 56, though? Could Who knows? Be, uh, 55 could be a very bad number this year, could, though. Could, could Dave King be the man to make it 56? Who knows? He could be. But 55% are saying, yes, he can help the club. And 45% are saying, no, it's a backwards step. Um, just before we actually get into this, I actually remember a time when Rangers were on 54 and Celtic were way back on, like, I think it was 43, 42. Aye, well, how, how, how it's a lifetime ago. How the, the tables have turned. Turn tables. Pun intended. Yep. League tables. Huh. Huh. Oh. You wish they could turn. They are full one fucking 80. Be great, wouldn't it? Hearts on top, Celtic bottom. I'd be fucking loving it. still win the league. Anyway, uh, time to get... See if you flip the tables and you flip the points, would you make Celtic favourites? So yeah. that would that would put Celtic ten behind Rangers, wouldn't it? How many points are Rangers on? Five, ten. Ten. All right, nine behind. There'd be five behind the Rangers. Hearts, Hearts are on one. There'd be fourteen behind Hearts then. Why? Because Rangers wouldn't be in fourth anymore. Ah, you nugget. Are you smoking? Ah, just ignore me. Get into the comments. Well, what you gotta look at it is. Nobody cares. Yeah, no, but to sum it up quickly, all Celtic would have to do is overturn five points. They're going to do that, like, aren't they? I mean, they're going to finish more than ten ahead. When you can't say that, well, I just did. All right? Anyway, time for a bit of positivity, because Dave King, tell you what, Dave King comes back, I'll back Rangers to win the league. How about that? Nah, I can't add That's controversial. That is controversial. That's a bold statement, right? Speaking of statements, let's get to the comments. Let's see what people have got to say. Regarding the return for the of Mr. King, JTT2505 says, for the giggles, absolutely. Well, I mean, I've joked there and said I'll back Rangers to win the league if he comes back. I mean, I, I, I'd take him back, right? Rangers need someone in the boardroom that knows what they're doing. But he's South African. 
His currency shite, the Rand. The Rand's not good. The Rand? No. Uh, that sounds boggy. That's their currency, mate. If you know, you know. Oh, I don't know. Well, I do. I so. don't give a shite about South Africa. I know, I, know. I know you've never stepped foot outside of Glasgow, but uh, some of us here are a little bit more cultured than others. When was the last time you were in South Africa, then? South Africa! World Cup, 2010. Ten. I was there. I think you were on your Xbox, mate. Uh, was. John Foley says most Celtic fans would love to see King back at Castle Grayskull. Sounds like a Game of Thrones location, doesn't it? Castle Grayskull. Well, who would Rangers be if they were in Game of Thrones? Probably someone who died in season one. I mean. well, they wouldn't be. <laughs> oh, hold on, that clip of Ned when he's like, what the fuck happened to the treasury? They were like six million in debt. <laughs> That's the one. Little finger. His uh, little finger. Six million to the, the face painter. Uh. Uh, David says, where the good guys were, unlike Snake Pedal Mountain. So who would Celtic be if they're Snake Pedal Mountain then? Oh, what, I would say... A Craster guy? Aye, Cast Craster. The Greyjoys? Aye, they insist. <laughs> they're no, they're more like the Lannisters in a sense of... The, they always pay their debts. Really? Actually, wait. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's 77 million some, in the bank. Some people would disagree with that. Aye. Well, they sell you at Rangers, certainly, on the no, Lannisters. No, they are like the Lannisters. Nah, Rangers ain't the Lannisters. They, they always pay their debts, but they've got this case with, like, incestuous weird <laughs> shit going on. And it's, it's fucking... Uh, I think we're enough of the Game of Thrones references. Uh, well, say... What's the rest of the league? They're just the ne- fucking peasants. Uh, uh, soldiers that die off screen. Nearly in Dunn Glass House, Houses. Uh, D R H G L L G. They should pay face painter. It's about fucking time. Ha ha ha. Right, you need to enlighten me. What is this gimmick with the face painter? Rangers owed money to a face painter, and they didn't pay it. Well, how much could it possibly be? I think it was like twenty quid to a local news agents. Why did they not pay that? I don't know, right? But I appreciate someone that likes their own jokes but I think there's one too many ha ha's in there uh, yeah for me you should only do two ha ha unless you're laughing at someone else's maybe joke maybe three I'll accept three any more than four it's like what are you doing so get it right up you Mr Aye. DR yep ha 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 uh, John says to do what precisely I don't know John sit on the throne oh, right. the game of so someone's got to do it it's like that only excuse skit where they just play the music, and whenever it stops, whoever is at the head of the table, they become the new Rangers manager. All right, tribal chief. Of the board. Uh, well, I mean, someone's got someone's got to take over John Bennett, so yeah, why not Dave King? Me says I'd take Davey back. I'd take Dave King back. I mean, why not? It's da- I don't think Dave. Not many people have a negative thing to say about Dave King, do they? I mean, no. You don't like his currency. Talking of currency, he will sell it for two pounds. Well, either. I'd I'll be it. honest, man. I just don't really like see see boardrooms and CEOs and chairmen and things. It's fucking pish. I like talking about the actual stuff that happens on the pitch. Do you not agree? No, I do agree. Um, none of this is really. First of all, none of this excites me. And honestly, secondly, I don't think any of it matters. Dave King, John Bennett, seeing less face th- painter, seeing less they're actually spending. Tywin Lannister. No, but see unless like they're spending Met money. Edward Stark. See, if, see unless they're in, yeah, that's plenty. See unless they're investing money. What does it matter if it's John Bennett in charge or if it's Dave King? Oh, we didn't they get uh, the CEO? We didn't they get uh, we didn't get St. Mirren's Jim Gillespie in the seat. Is that going to see see if Jim Gillespie comes in as CEO? Is that going to make Tavernier begin to defend against Dyson Maida? No. Do you know what I mean? It's like, who gives a Unless shit? he brings him a jetpack or something. You know what I mean? The next thing... This... So I'll be what happens on the pitch. Yeah. You know, that is what happens on the pitch, but uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed... But the... here, sentimental value. It'd be, it'd be nice to see Dave King back, I guess, if, if you're into that. Well, some people might not I'm think it'd be nice. I'm into trophies and my team's no end of them, so I don't really know what to say here. Anyway, that's it. I've fin- liked the Game of Thrones references. Aye, 55% of you guys want to see Dave King back. 45%... Don't want to see him back. I believe you were in the 55% until you found out that he wasn't wanting to spend any more money. That kind of, maybe, I don't know. I put, don't know, man. I just, I'm depressed. Put you in the neutral camp. Aye, I'm depressed. What's going to, what's going to happen? What needs to happen for you to not be depressed? Are we talking a big Rangers win? We're talking or, or years. Celtic fall off the face of the earth? I'm not a greedy man, man. I just want to see my team. Win a trophy? 
No, but they won a trophy last year, right? So, but I, I just want Forget to see. That, though, I just want to see the gap close, and I just see what you know. I, I touched on this the other day, and Dave King will be in the exact same. Me and him are in communications, right? I can read the guy's mind telepathic like shit. See, three years ago when Rangers won 55 and he turned around and said Celtic will fall like a pack of cards. I know you said Ange would win the league, right? But no one would have fucking predicted that Rangers would have fallen as far behind Celtic again that they were pre gerard It was... That's unthinkable to me. Thanks for giving me credit. I did predict Ange would win the league. No, you did. So I'm not going to... Turn, well, not well, gonna... well, a lot of Celtic fans want him gone after seven games. No, I... Oh, it was only two people that said that on Twitter. Bullshit. Go and check Ryan Womanate's comments after that draw against Dundee United. No, I, I, I See how many fans want I it. actually, I don't think people are actually understanding how far this Rangers team has actually fucking dropped off. You know, two years ago, it was in a European final, right? No, but three years ago, Rangers were on top. They had all the better players. They had a, a shitload of sellable assets. I mean, you, you look at them now, they didn't capitalise on those sellable assets. Uh, they either let the contracts run out or the players got so crap that they weren't worth anything. And uh, you just look at this Rangers team now and it's like, wh where's the money coming for? You know, who, like, no, but like, I said after that, I said after Title 55, I said in a video the other day, um, I think it was when Boyd was talking about how Rangers are just accepting being second best. I said how Rangers look so far ahead of Celtic and that Rangers probably had over a million pounds, one million, 100 million of sellable assets. I know some people would laugh at that. I don't, I, I don't, I don't take that back. I, I, I stand by that. I, I, I double down. I think easily Rangers had over a, a one hundred million um worth of. You, you factor in like Morelos and, and Kent alone. I mean, they could have got maybe twenty for each of them when they were at their peaks after winning title fifty five. Uh, you know, John Barisic, man, Barisic was getting talked for like eleven, million. twelve million pound moves. So, I mean, there's no doubt that Rangers could have capitalised. That's what they should have done. They, they, no, I'm not saying sell them all, but I think they should have moved a couple on uh, after they won the league title, and then certainly after they got to the Europa League final, moved a couple more on. But they didn't seem to do that. They just seemed to keep them all, and then they got older, they ran out of form, and then players that were worth eight figures turned into players that you couldn't even get seven figures for. Yeah. And players that Rangers fans would not have wanted to lose after winning title five, a couple flash forward a couple years later, and most of those players were players that Rangers fans were desperate to get rid of. So, I mean, it just shows you the collapse and how things can quickly fall away. Cheers for that uh, trip down memory lane. You're welcome. Uh, and uh, that's where we're going to end it. Snookered. Black's behind the white. <laughs>